Hello and welcome back guys and girls, this is the Prussian Press on our Rome 2 online battle replay cast. This is going to be Arverni against Rome. So, playing as the Arverni here and I've got two light horse on each flank. I want to use those to scout out the enemy and potentially take out his skirmishers and such. But anyway, Arverni is at a huge disadvantage against Rome. Like, if this was a competitive match, I would not have picked Arverni against Rome. Definitely not, but I just picked it for fun. So, yeah, I've got... <laughs> let me show you. I've got two Spear Nobles on each flank. Then I've got, of course, one, two, three, four, five, six Old Swords. And my general is a Noble Horse in the center. And again, with this new patch, you can run while hidden, which is pretty cool. For my opponent, he's got a gladiator on his left flank. Probably more stuff hidden here. Then in the back, he's got three, four, five, six, seven armored legionaries. These guys are beasts. Very cost effective. Then he's got a legatus's gen, vigilus. His right flank, you can see two Praetorian cav. Probably my light horse can see them. In the front, you can see three, three Aria, and four auxiliary Balearic slingers. Now this build is actually pretty interesting and pretty balanced from Rome actually. He's got skirmishers, he's got spears, he's got swords, right? And he's got cav and like even shock infantry as those gladiators, right? But... It doesn't necessarily mean it's good, right? Like I would not have taken Triaria against Arverni. You do not need Triaria. And... Probably you don't even need slingers, you just have to rush because there's nothing have to worry about. Like the Arverian skirmishers, no way he's gonna be able to skirmish you down. Because Rome has really good shields and really high armor as you can see here, so skirmishing against Rome would be insanely difficult. Because of the Roman as I was saying earlier, Roman armor and Roman shields. Which are better than the usual shields. Then again, don't count on that though, as I'm not entirely sure. But they, I think they do block more than the regular ones. So, as you can see here, he popped quick reload, got a volley off, killed like two men. Okay, maybe like three, right? Yeah, one in this unit, so not a lot. Most the HP damage though. Yeah, for now, it's not really worth it. I'm just gonna go in and try and kill his Praetorian Cav with my two Spear Nobles on each flank. They should do quite well. Even against the gladiators too, and my light horse is here. I'm gonna try and use it to kill the auxiliary Balearic slingers, so I'm gonna go around with them. And here comes the engagement. I'm actually gonna pop at hunt, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna pop everything straight off the bat, just so I can kill these units as fast as possible. Note that uh, these units do not take as much damage in this formation. Maybe I shouldn't have popped them though so early, oh well. I'm not entirely sure when to use skills though still because this changes from patch to patch. Here as you can see I got a nice hit on his general. Look at all those javelins. And the, and the Legatus is gonna go down here and does not manage to pull his general out in time. And here I get my light horse in. I'm gonna send this other light horse in to get his Balearic Slingers. Here I'm taking out his Vigilus with my Spear Nobles. Left flank, armored legionaries. He's actually in formation attack, which is why his units are not doing as well. Here you can see Ulsworn is just crushing through armored legionaries. And here you can see the same thing. Well, Spear Nobles gonna beat armored legionaries because armored legionaries are in formation attack, which makes them really bad. But yeah, here you can go see me going in with Light Horse. Got a lot of kills for being light horse, right? I've killed a lot of his Balearic slingers, so my light horse has paid for itself. Here though, I'm gonna go in with Spear Nobles and see what I can do against Armor Legionaries. But I do actually get stuck because this guy over here, he got my Spear Noble. Yeah, at this point you can just see a chain route of my opponent's army. So what did he do wrong? Well, against Arvirni he picked... Gladiators. Not that they're bad, but you don't need gladiators against Arverni, right? Just bring armored legionaries, Praetorian Guard, or even like whatever, just 
Don't bring gladiators because they're weak to skirmishers, they're weak to cav. Don't bring them against uh, Arvirian. You can do as well with like heavy infantry anyway. With, but they have higher armor, more men, and like just stronger overall. Or cost effective. As for this build, he brought Vigilus and Triaria. Like, you don't bring that against Arvirian. Like, why would you bring Vigilus and Triaria? Because the Arvirian cav is worse than the Roman cav, right? So, you don't do that. As for... Uh, what else is there? He brought Slingers. This isn't necessarily a bad choice. But on this map, you can see that it's pretty forested. So, just a regular rush from him would have worked. I don't know, maybe he wanted to test something, so I'm not gonna hang him over that too much. But anyway, hope you guys and girls enjoyed, and if you want to see more, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. See you next time.